the editors of the magazine have come up with this, I think, a very beautiful project. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it really requires making a mold, mm -hmm. which is fun. Right. And then making a candle uh, and releasing it from the mold that you've made and actually using a piece of nature. We're going to use a real gourd. Mm -hmm. So these will make very pretty candles. Yes. And so the, this is the top of the candle. Okay. That's where the wick will come out. And we have screwed, you can just make these little stands um, yourself and you're gonna screw them into the base of whatever object you want to make a mold out of. So if you wanna make a mold out of, uh, Oh, like, oh, this would be a beautiful candle, too. Mm. It's best if it has sort of like a, a straight a neck. Great, like, this would be fabulous. A great, fun shape, yeah. yeah. That would be a beautiful candle. Oh, did uh, I screw it in too much? Huh? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you don't have to go that far down. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was, it was, don't worry. I'm don't jittery worry. from standing next to now, you. Now, best, so stick that down in okay, there. There you this go. This is a perfect size container. It won't use up too much mm -hmm. of the mixture uh, that we're, the, uh, the mold mixture. Now, tape this down because otherwise it might tend to float up. Right. So this will keep it secure in the mixture. Now, here's the stuff. This is rubber compound, mm -hmm. and this is called um, Umu 30. And you have to mix the blue, pour that in, with the pink. Okay. This is, look at these two get mixed together. It's the combination of these two that make the mixture that will harden in the uh, exact correct manner for, wow, this stuff takes a long time to come out. So you need the two of them together to make, to harden, to yes. form the right consistency. Yes. Now stir. Hurry, Martha's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> now start stirring with your rubber spatula. Okay and you have to really mix it up. It's good to pour it at the same time because the blue tends to be a little heavier than the pink. You're right, you're It sinks down right. into the bottom and then you uh, have a little bit of a problem. You really want to incorporate it. It takes a little while. Okay. Just pour it into here just to make okay. sure that you see that it's really mixed, okay? okay. We don't trust the first pitcher. Now pour this very carefully into this quart container. Okay. And now these are just recycled deli containers. Just pour it in. It will go all the way around. You don't want a lot of bubbles in it because you don't want any defects. You want this to be a perfect mold. And is there a, a special technique to get the bubbles out? Well, it, it, it will settle. You'll okay. see it, it. It settles. I don't, yours does not look too bubbly and neither does mine. If you whipped it with a whip, it would get too bubbly. When you release it, it looks like this. You have to cut the mold off and then you cut through the side and around just to the center of the bottom and look what happens. The mold comes out and that's oh my gosh, the mold. mold. It's very pliable and it's uh, reusable. You can make many, many candles in a mold like this. After we've, we've opened it up, we have mm -hmm. to put our wick in. Okay. This is a typical wick. Okay, uh, and perfect for beeswax. These are the beeswax pellets that we've been melting. Mm -hmm. Pure, 100% smell. Doesn't that smell good? Oh yeah, that See, is really nice. I, I don't like scented candles so much, mm -hmm. but I love the smell of pure beeswax. It's really a nice smell. So the, the wick has to be put into um, wax before, okay. into the melted wax before you try to use it because uh, you want it nice and rigid and straight. The whole thing? Yeah, no, it's okay, you, you have it okay. just right. So just, right. just like that, and then we put the wick right in the center of the mold and let it come out the bottom. Let it come out, oh, like, like two inches or so. Two inches. Okay. So it's going to be right in the middle of the gourd candle. So now we're going to put this right back into the plastic container. Okay. That will hold it upright. And Great. Then the mold, the, so you want the wick to come up in the center mm -hmm. of the candle. So take this little stick and wrap the wick around a couple times and make sure that it is coming up right in the center and just leave it right like that. You can uh, turn your stove off and take your melted wax. This is uh, the beeswax with a little bit of color added. Now these color squares, they, they're they available in many different colors. We've chosen a nice dark reddish and brownish palette um, and a golden palette. So you can just put your color square right into mm -hmm. your wax, let it melt and now just pour carefully right into the mold and you let it stay until it is completely hardened all the way up to the very, very top. Oop. Went over a little bit, but it's gonna shrink just slightly, so that's okay. Yep, that's perfect. Ah.
Excellent. So you have a lot of melted wax, you can do a whole lot more candles. Yeah. Let this harden, and here we have one that's already hardened. You unfurl the wick, okay, and pop out your gorgeous candle. Oh. Ah. Isn't this the cutest believe. thing? It's so great. I love it. Trim the wick to about an inch and trim off the bottom wick, and then this will stand very nicely right on the, um, in a candle stand or on the table. Oh, thank you, thank you. And when you light these candles, they burn for quite a long time. They are very pretty to look at.